So I just want to do a quick overview of the new uh, kit and the new pack that we had released just a day ago. Thanks to everyone who had already purchased it. I really, really appreciate all the love and all the support and everything that we are trying to do. So with that said, uh, let's jump into the Unreal Engine project here and take a look at a couple things. So once you get your download, you'll basically open Unreal Engine 5.1 and what you want to do is go down to browse and basically just click on the project you'll be greeted with a with a scene sort of like this so if you scale out you can kind of <clears throat> see what's going on here so i figured we would just kind of jump in and i can show you a couple things I created a new level. If you want to create a new level, just obviously go to File and then New Level right here. And I'll just do a basic level, which I already have here. You can see there's a content folder, Texas Biomes V1. It has all the as assets, there's some blueprints, and there's, you know, all kinds of stuff. So just honestly, just have fun and play around with a few different things and uh, yeah so we're just gonna jump into this level here click on that and so we have you know something like this we have these these pine trees here and what I wanted to show you the the coolest thing about all of this which I'm by the way I'm just super excited about it because just there's there's so many combinations and just cool stuff you can do so I'm pretty pretty excited about just kind of messing around with some of this stuff but <clears throat> for instance in the Texas pine tree section you know you have this blueprint for a branch and then there's a couple trees that I created from all the models right so when you go into the model section, you have these blend, uh, blend pieces that kind of go into the, the actual tree, the base of the tree. You know, you have the bay. Everything is sort of separated. But if you want, you know, you can, you can basically select everything. And you can, you know, drop this out. and create you know literally start creating creating something from this if you hold down the alt key and left mouse click you can duplicate just the base to start doing something with with that if you want but some of the fun the you know the most fun features obviously are some of these blueprints that have already been done which there's a there's a branch right here. If you drag and drop that out, you'll see that it's kind of just right there. And for, for this, it's like a blueprint. So if we decided to create a hierarchy based on, you know, these, these pine leaves and this branch itself, we could just kind of select all of them and then create a blueprint from that, which I'll show you how to do in just a moment. But, but yeah, it's really a lot of fun, honestly. And, you know, once again, if you have this blueprint and you need to center the pivot and what we can do is hold down alt. And then if we middle mouse click, we can, select right here and we'll just drag this up to the base once you have it <clears throat> right at the base you can actually right click on this and just go to pivot if you go to pivot you can set as pivot offset and then just click on that 
And then when you click away, you'll see that it has been saved. So now what's, you know, what's kind of fun about that is you can just basically hold down alt and then left mouse click and just start, you know, duplicating, rotating. And then once you're done creating something, so you're, say you're finished creating a, just like a tree, you know, with using just base parts, right? And you decide, well, I really kind of, I really like what I've, what I've created. And I just want to save that as a, you know, as a preset or a tree that I can just drag and drop out into my scene. Just like these right here. Um, we want to drag out a bunch of these, right? So let's just go to the blueprints icon right here, which is right in the middle. If you go to the top, you'll see it here. And we would just want to convert selection to blueprint class. And then we want to harvest the components. And obviously we want to save this in the section where uh, it says, so if we go to Texas Biomes, we go down and we look for the Texas pine tree. We're just going to save it right there. And we're going to say Texas pine tree. Uh, forest one or something. Full pine, full pine tree forest one. Okay, cool. So we'll just say that's what it is. It'll pop up right here. So you, so you have a new window and you can see that everything has been kind of connected into that uh, actual blueprint. So if you have objects that are a little bit more high res, for instance, if you have, if you have things that need to be modified or connected and there's, you know, different options as far as like the base goes and the leaves go. And there's also some pine cones on, on these leaves that I didn't, um, that I didn't add that you can import if you want. So I did that. But if you close this, you'll notice that now we have this cool section right here that says forest. So that's pretty awesome. So if you have if you have larger areas of definitely like more high high detailed stuff, you can you can just create. I mean, you can just keep going and going, and it's just pretty awesome. So let's just. Now let's take this out. Yeah, so we'll put that here. And see, so that's now a blueprint within itself. And which is pretty, pretty awesome, honestly. So you start, you know, you can start building up and creating these awesome scenes with all this stuff. And it's just so much fun. So... With that said, we're going to leave that and we're going to do something different. We're going to take, we're going to take some of these other ones. The same thing with the live oak, which is actually a pretty massive tree. You can see all the models in this live oak, which is, you know, a good amount of models here. But if you decide, well, I just want to start fresh and, you know, say you, say you have different ideas for how this is going to go and, you're like, well, I really like the primary branches and I like the base. So I'm just going to pull that out. That looks pretty cool. Looks pretty wild. And and then you're kind of like, yeah, that's that's awesome. I like I only want one of my objects to look like that, which, uh, you know, you could you could try uh, this one and drag that out, which is I love this one. It's super cool. There's a lot of uh, detail, which is this alien tree. So I'm going to drag that out. That one's also pretty cool. So I tried to think of everything I could for you guys. Um, let's see. Branches. And we have the small trees right here. We have, we have one and then two. And then this small tree too is 
basically another another blueprint so we can yeah you know, we can drag that out but yeah thank you all so much for grabbing the new pack and the new uh, Texas biome kit there's a lot of possibilities here there's a lot of things you can create obviously I will be creating some fun scenes and uh, I'll show you the process of of creating one of these assets and then also how to modify them into the finished product but anyway stay tuned for more stuff and hope y'all's year is continuing to be amazing and uh yeah, I'll see you soon.